my good old Jaguar I-Pace S. I'm doing this video because I got an email from the Jaguar dealership. They are asking me or telling me that if I think about buying a, or ordering a new Jaguar I-Pace, then I should keep in mind that the delivery time is quite high. So in that case, I should order some, a new car quite early. Well, my answer is uh, just as simple as that. The new iPace is not really that new. Of course, it learned some tricks, yes, but this is for me actually no reason to buy a new Jaguar. One of the tricks is uh, for option in the rear fin. There is a camera which will project the camera picture in the rear view mirror. And another trick it learned this camera can be cleaned so it can spray water to the lens of the camera. And of course, the new iPace has a new board computer, a better one, of course. But actually, to be honest, I don't use the computer that much for all it tricks, for all of the tricks it can do. It can do a lot of things, I'm just using the navigation system. And uh, of course I'm playing the music from my USB stick. And uh, yeah, sometimes I take a look at the uh, EcoData's energy consumption. But that's quite all. So I don't really see a reason why I should uh, use my... or should buy a new car instead of using the old one on and on and on and uh, yeah by the way if they would make two changes then I would really think about uh, buying a new one one thing that's uh, quite annoying but that's a modern car problem and not only a Jaguar problem is the massive cover of the A pillar of course, we have to keep in mind that under here is an airbag from down here going up, going right away over here. As you see, airbag button. But I'm quite sure in the modern days engineers can plan these things thinner. Because in the long left turn as you see this is the part of the house you already don't see when you're straight behind the a-pillar cover or the a-pillar the whole construction so uh, that is actually supposed to get slimmer in every new car and one thing I would like to have in a new Jaguar I-Pace is another button or better said, a gearbox with an overdrive. A second gear working as an overdrive, like cars from the 80s or beginnings from the 90s. So uh, just make this parking button a bit smaller and then use that space to get over that D button, a button with an O for overdrive. So when I'm in the car driving on the motorway, I can push the overdrive button it shifts in the second gear and so I can hold the same speed just with a couple of thousand rpms less that would save some energy and make everything more efficient and everybody more happy I guess yeah that's so far it these two changes Would have been the only things that I would like to have changed at a new eye pace. Otherwise, the old one is good enough. Or oh, and another button for overdrive, just somewhere on the steering wheel, would also be a solution. 
That's it so far. I don't know what you are thinking about Jaguar I-Pace or any changes that you would like to have, but I guess you can write a comment. And uh, that's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a nice day.